Hey everyone, so I'm home for the holidays for this Christmas. Merry Christmas, everyone. I recently redid my parents' entire office setup. My dad's currently out of town, so he's gonna come back to this totally renovated, brand new setup. That monitor you see is the old 24 inch that my parents were using for like years on end. And as you can see, we've upgraded to this 4K 43 inch IPS display monstrosity. I have everyone's everything set up through the CalDigit Thunderbolt 3 dock, so I'll cover that briefly in this video. As you can see, we have a portable setup going on here with a single MacBook Pro. Everything is connected through a single cable to the laptop, which is pretty mind blowing. So I hope you all enjoy, grab a snack, and stay tuned for the whole video. So when we first walk into the office, we can see that we have a single ethernet cable, which is, that's temporary. This entire corner of the office was completely a cable mess. It was the accumulation of like maybe three or four years worth of cables. It's now totally cable managed. We have everything going. This is wired around the house. We have all the power. The power is set up in the bottom here. Everything is connected to the UPS and the extension cord with a ton of outlets is now readily available here for easy access instead of over there in the corner. You can see our microphone for recording. Some of this video will be on that microphone. All the ethernet and networking, the, what is it? 20 something terabyte NAS is right here. And all the iPhone stuff is right here. Printer and scanner. Shifting our attention to the new display, it's a 43 inch IPS 4K by HP. Happy to do a review on that if desired. The old monitor, which was the sole, the sole setup for the longest time is now just vertical, matched up pretty perfectly with this new display. And as you can see, everything goes through the CalDigit dock. So the CalDigit dock in itself is pretty, pretty awesome. I've been using it maybe for a few weeks now and for the most part, it's pretty perfect. One downside, if you are considering this dock, is that it does heat up, it does generate heat, so it gets a little toasty, but thankfully it's a little cool outside, so this is pretty welcome. But aside from heating up a little, you can see this, all these cables, all these inputs are going through a single cable. I mean, that's pretty mind-blowing in and of itself. It charges the MacBook, it does everything. I did not have a single HDMI port, which my dad's computer does have. There it is. Had to connect another USB-C dock which easily goes into the back of the CalDigit. On the back we have, well, maybe you can't perfectly see, but I'll list them out. We have four USB 3, four regular USB 3 ports, two Thunderbolt, one goes to the computer, one uh, accepts another input, which we just connected to this, uh, another splitter here. We also have a display port, which is currently being used to drive the main display, ethernet power, and optical audio, which we're not really using. Now, my mom's really into photography, so she, would love an SD card slot like this, as well as another readily, two more readily available USB ports. Although this USB-C port is five gigabits a second. For the storage setup, we have a two terabyte NVMe drive connected over USB-C. Now it is not Thunderbolt 3, which I did wish that I invested a bit more money in. For my uses, it's pretty fast. And then we have four, two four terabyte drives in RAID 1 for backing everything up on the go. Audio runs to the MacBook Pro through the DisplayPort cable. So these are actually ancient computer speakers that have been working reliably for more than almost two decades now at this point. And it's all connected all through the DisplayPort cable, which is pretty mind blowing. So yeah, that's the updated setup. I can wholeheartedly recommend this CalDigit 3 dock. It's been terrific for the past few weeks. If I do encounter any issues, I'll be sure to pin the comments. And before I forget, this is what it's like using this whole entire setup for video editing. We can see that all of our files are on the right hand side and everything is easily accessible. I'm kind of wondering how I've gone this long without a screen this big. But otherwise, thanks for tuning in everyone and I hope you have a terrific Christmas. The best wishes to you and your families and thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys have a great day.